Hey guys, so I'm really excited to check out this Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer. I love Assassin's Creed, so unfortunately I didn't get to watch it yesterday because I really wanted to make a video about it, doing my reactions and my thoughts, uh, and I was really busy with Twitch and a few other things yesterday, so continue where we're at today, I'm going to get into it, I'll do my, uh, my thoughts and my reactions at the end, but let's hop right into the video and see how this goes. They are heartless. But oh, that was it a Royal Borealis? Godless barbarians. So it looks like they're bringing the ships back, which I, I'm a fan of. I wasn't a huge fan of them in um murder and kill blindly. In the last Assassin's Creed, but I did like it in uh, Black they Flag and Origins. The lands of England, lands they will never defend, never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. I wonder if that's gonna be like I mean who that is and the significance for it. Damn, this looks nice. I mean everything just looks like like really clean. I mean obviously it's a you know it's a trailer, so but So I imagine it's gonna be another one of those like war war situations like um the name of the last Assassin's Creed is escaping me. Oh sh nice. I like that. I wonder. Oh, I hope they bring in some of that noise. Yes. Odin, it's with us. That's okay. That's what's open. <laughs> Shit, that's cool. Oh, that's fucking good. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let me keep this up. Um, I don't know how to like put that away, but so I mean that was that was good. Uh, that's I, that's I'm really excited about this. So I'm noticing first off. It feels like it's gonna have another one of the um, like war scenarios, like the last Assassin's Creed, which that was cool. I liked the concept. Um, maybe not. I mean, obviously there's some difference there, but that was that was. Just, I mean, I mean, there's a lot to break down in there. There's a lot to go through, but it's really cool, and I really hope they bring in the kind of North Norse mythology. And I guess I mean I, I guess I would assume this takes place before origins similar to how um and again that the name of the last assassin's creed is, is 
it's escaping me. I'll put it somewhere like down over somewhere around here at one point. But yeah, no, that was cool. I'm excited. Um, I'm really excited to see where that, you know, hidden blade that came from for them. Because obviously in Origins, it was just kind of given to them. And in the last one, there wasn't a hidden blade. There was just the spear. So I'm happy that it's back personally because I really liked that. I love the look of it. Um, having it over the hand is new, but I'm not really new, but I think it was, um, supposed to be that way originally, and that's why Bayek lost his finger, but I'm really excited. This looks awesome. Um, I'm hope I'm hopeful for it. Uh, not much else. I'm excited to see that kind of Norse mythology, similar to how they did in Origins, where they had the, um, a lot of the Egyptian mythology brought through and act like part of the story. That's awesome. So, yeah, I'm excited. So I'm going to keep up, up to date on it better than I was and hopefully do a breakdown at one point and go through, you know, some of the more finer details of this and kind of go through and my, what I feel about it, what I think about it. And, I mean, this is going to be cool. I hope it doesn't get put off too much by uh, this whole pandemic, but we'll see. 